Welcome back to the second module in this series of InfoShare tutorials. In this module, we'll be finding out how to customise the variables that are included in our final table. This screenshot is showing the view we get once we've selected our table from the first module. Here you will notice that there are four main boxes which contain the four variables. Travel direction, country of residence, citizenship and time. To define these variables, you need to simply click on the topics which match your query. For this example, I want to find the number of permanent and long-term arrivals arriving from Australia in Fiji for all of the months in 2009. So in the first box, Travel Direction, I'm simply going to click on Arrivals. In the second box, Country of Residence, we can click on Australia. And then we'll scroll down to find Fiji. And we'll click on it whilst holding down the control button so as not to lose our earlier selection. For the third box, Citizenship, we're not specifically interested in any of these categories. However, InfoShare can only retrieve data if at least one option from each box is highlighted. So in this case, we must highlight the total. And in the final box, I will click and drag to highlight all of the months in 2009. 2009 M12 represents the December month in 2009. As an alternative to the click and drag method, you could also press shift as you highlight the second choice of months and InfoShare would automatically select the months in between. Now we scroll down to the bottom of this variable screen where we can click go to generate our table. However, before we do that, I'll just point out that there is also a drop-down menu available which gives us options as to the format in which the tables will be displayed, either an Excel file or a CSV file. In this case though, we're happy to stick with the default option, which is to display the table on the screen. So we simply click on Go and InfoShare will generate our table. Join me in the next tutorial where we'll look at how to change the table views and then download the data.